Who are you? How did you get in? I presume the old man told you why I'm here? Why I've chosen to live in this tower of solitude? When I lived in Lindau, I was an outsider. For a time, I considered moving far away to a new city where no one would know me. But I came to learn that I would be an outsider wherever I went. Look at my face! It makes children cry. Before I left, I was the subject of chronic nightmares for one child. Her father showed her a new route to school so she could avoid passing me. Estranged from all others in this tower, I am an outsider. But living in the town, I am an outsider all the same. At least here in my tower, I won't fuel the nightmares of children. I dedicated my life to becoming a great architect. For half a century, I labored at this. I built the city they live in. And how do the people of Lindau know me? I am the disfigured architect. The townspeople don't appreciate what I've done. They dwell in the marvel of my life's work. Really? What did it say of me? So, someone's finally taken notice of my talent? Well, that is interesting. That changes everything. It's about time, this conversation. It was almost enjoyable. Perhaps I'll see you again. But now, I'm afraid it's late. Or early, I should say. I don't believe I invited you into my house. Hello, good friends. Where's your raft? I think architects build things.
Yes, a newcomer. May I see your reference letters, please? I'm afraid if you're seeking passage into Narva, you'll need three reference letters from citizens of Eastshade, signed and sealed. Well, you need to find people who are willing to vouch for your character and writing. Since you're a newcomer, you'll have to make some friends in the country. Will that be all, then? It hasn't always been this way, but lately we've been getting more newcomers than usual. We don't want to be unwelcoming to new folk, but we are trying to have some measure of security. Will that be all, then? Will that be all, then? Stay safe now. Need a lift? All right, then. Thanks again for that painting. Damn fish unbiting today. My garden is filled with all sorts of wriggly critters. That poor man. He had quite a gruff personality. Not very sociable. But I don't think he meant to offend people. I hope he's very happy, wherever he is. Sure, I can do that for you. Take care now. I just can't wait to go home and show everyone this magnificent portrait. The beauty of my features entirely makes up for your lack of proper art training. I will not write you a reference. We already have too many vagrants in Nava for my tastes. Get out! Easy does it. Do you know your name? Okay, just have to check. Standard protocol when someone gets hit in the head like that. And do you remember what happened? Isan said you provoked him, is that true? Did he, at any point, ask you to leave? And did you? Listen, I think I know what's going on here. As an official, I'm obliged to tell you, in the future, in situations like these, never confront the parent, ever. It's most likely they will deny and defend, and no good can come of that. If you suspect something, report it. Don't take it into your own hands. You stay clear of Isan now, and he'll stay clear of you. I'll be on my way now. We've got it handled. Like I said, you two just stay out of each other's way. Actually, he hasn't heard a fly until now. You're the first person he ever got physical with, and seeing as you were in his house, as far as I gather without invitation, I'm not going to be so quick to call him dangerous. Like I said, we have it handled. Now, I've got to get back to Nava. Be safe, newcomer. Odd. A brilliant, brutally honest, and highly misunderstood man. 
undoubtedly too curt for his own good. Perhaps that's why many Lindau folk found it difficult to maintain amicable relations with him. your conversation with Bodan. He'll be so excited to have you as a friend. He's a very special individual. There's no one who loves rafting as much as he does. Though he can be difficult at times, he's a kind soul. I appreciate your cordialness. Ah, a blossoming botanist I see. To start, you'll need some roots. You can find them at the bases of trees. I can show you how to make twine, but it is a process. I see you're a painter. I would so love some artwork in my home. I'm quite partial to sandy beaches. What do you say? If you make me a painting, I'll teach you how to make twine. I look forward to seeing your work. Any friend of Bojan's is a friend of mine. Here. Mind the plants underfoot! I can vouch for you. You really got me out of a pinch there with that water fox. Nice place to relax, this. I come here often, it's a nice quiet place to write music. Hey, do you want to hear my latest tune? It's not easy to play a string instrument with talons, you know. But what I like in finger ability, I can make up for with my fine bird pipes. song.
Oh, hello. I'm not really in the mood to talk with anyone. I lost something really important. It was like the key to everything. I just can't believe I lost it. My amulet. I don't know how this happened. I just wanted to look at it, but now it's gone. Sorry. I don't feel like chatting right now. Sorry. I don't feel like chatting right now.
brave traveler. I can see you have an adventurous spirit. I've got an excursion you're sure to love. Right, oh, sharp as a knife you are. This here is the bursting bubble. It has the ability to take passengers all the way up to the mountain top. The ride is sure to give you a burst of adrenaline. Think so? I wish more people had your spirit. Last person here said they'd never ride it with a name that sounded so dangerous. Oh, good! I thought it was spot on. I'll keep the name then. You know, when I invented this thing, I really thought it was going to revolutionize transportation. Imagine just flying right up to the tip top of the world! Seems like something everyone would want to do. But for some reason, folks just don't seem to understand the idea. They can't seem to picture a balloon carrying people in the sky. I've hardly been able to get anyone out here to see it in person. Anyhow, thanks for helping with the name, Traveler. Seems to me that you're full of good ideas. Why, hello, friend! Glorious day, wouldn't you say? What an incredible day to be alive! Ah, I see you're a traveller, swept in from some distant land. How enchanting! Ah, oh, marvellous place, Eastshade. The only trouble is, traveller, the little mice. The little mice? You see, they've taken a liking to my garden. Not sure how they eat so much when I'm not looking. Must be bigger than I think. I'm standing guard, but it's not working. Somehow they're getting past me. Must be while I'm sleeping. Not that I mind, really. I'm glad they have a proper meal. But how I dream of cooking up a proper stew. Vegetable, of course. Can't have a good stew without an assortment of the finest crops, eh? Tell you what, bring me seven sticks so I can finish my fence. That just may do the trick against these crafty carrot eaters. 
course, I never let a friend journey on without a few glowstones to pad their pocket. How's ten sound? Oh, isn't that perfect? I knew it was a good thing we met, Traveller. Of course, I appreciate your help. Nothing wrong with running around picking up sticks, just don't forget to get lost once in a while, eh? And look around you, smell the roses! Oh, listen to me, I sound like an old-timer! Refreshing to hear someone say it, other than myself. I'm sure the polite nature of East Shade Folk has a reputation far and wide. No chance someone would wrong another. Anyhow, thanks for getting these sticks for me. It's a full-time job, standing guard. Why don't you come back in a day's time? That'll give me time to patch up this fence and see how it does against the little mice. See you soon! for some tea, or maybe a mead. Here you are, then. Nothing like a refreshing cup. I don't think I've seen your face before. Are you from out west? Ah, okay. I thought you might be from out west. I haven't met many westerners. I was born and raised in Narva. I really wish more westerners would come through this way. I really want to ask them about the drumming. Have you heard the drums at night? I was just a child the first time I heard the drumming out in the blush woods. My best friend and I used to play out here a lot. We even found a drum once. Wish I could look at that thing, but it seems to have disappeared. Ever since I moved out here, I've only heard the drumming late in the night. Some nights I hear it, others I don't. Doesn't seem to be any pattern. I like the music. It's captivating. In fact, it's almost... bewitching. But I've always been bewildered as to its source. I figure it must be some westernly folk thing. Maybe the farmers from the Teethmore Bluffs throw parties in the Blushwood? Nobody in Nava seems to know anything about it. Do you have your references in order? Hmm, yes, it appears everything is in order. Go right ahead then. And... Welcome to Narva.
Oh, Leilani. <sighs> She's... well, she works in the spice shop down in the lower market. She's not the best cook, though. <laughs> but she's wonderful. I mean, you know, she's a great person. So kind, funny, thoughtful. We've been spending a lot of time together lately. Things are really so great between us. I think I want to ask her if she'll be my girlfriend. I want to be somewhere special when I ask her, though. Somewhere magical and perfect. Like sitting on a golden cloud at sunset while butterflies circle around us. But you're probably not interested in this kind of thing. She loves bread. So yesterday I baked her a loaf in the shape of a rose. We ate it together on a bench in the garden. It was so perfect. Oh my god. What if I already missed the perfect moment? I'm just so nervous to ask the question. Can you... Would you do me a favor? Can you find out Leilani's favorite place? I know it's kind of silly to dance around like this. I just want it to be special. You're the best! She works in the spice shop down in the lower market area. Let me know what you find out. Please hurry. I'm so excited! Oh dear. Oh no. I've done something terrible. I'm not sure if we've met before, but, but I need help. Oh dear. This morning I sold some zucchinis. I thought they were zucchinis, but now I still have the zucchinis here in my basket. I sold toxic tubers. Oh God, I've no idea who I sold them to. Numb legs, upset stomach, and then oh, hours of vomiting. You stop panicking. This is a disaster. I'm ruined! Once was bad enough, but twice! And now people are gonna start being sick! There's so little time. I need to recover those tubers. Can you help me? I've got no one else to turn to! Thank you, thank you! Please, just ask people if they bought any zucchinis today. Tell them what happened and get the tubers back. I sold four zucchinis all together, and I put them in blue bags. Maybe that could help you find them. Oh god, I hope no one has eaten any. Teapot last night. The tea house hosts a different musician or storyteller every evening. Ah, oh, they are such inspiring events. Goodness, I almost fed this to my grandmother. Thanks for finding me. Here, you take it back. I don't need it anymore. to Nava! You still have the pastries, right? Oh, this is gonna be great! Okay, my brother's sitting at the table right outside the bakery. I'll go over to him first, then you follow behind. Remember, make him think you're a normal delivery person. Can I help you? 
Good. I've been expecting a delivery. Give it here. Mm. It looks like someone's rifled through this. They're a little crushed, too. A little crushing isn't gonna ruin the tangy, sublime, gorgeous taste of raspberries. Ugh. What? What's happening to me? This is... This is the most revolting, sickening... This flavor... Grape! My tongue! It'll never be the same! What despicable baker would make an error so unforgivable? Uh, Neo! This my brother's idea of a prank? Poisoning a person's taste buds with the most repulsive flavor ever invented? That's just... it's... hilarious! I can't believe you actually got me. And Neo's always trying to do these ridiculous pranks. Usually I can see him from a mile away. But messing around with great pastries? That's some risky business. You should be proud. I'm not easily pranked. That was perfect. I couldn't picture it going any better. He totally thought you were a delivery person. <laughs> this one will go down in family history. You should look into doing this for a living. I don't have much to give you, but seeing my brother eat a great pastry was just... priceless. Looky Duda, we've got a fresh face. I haven't seen you in the city before, and I like to think I know just about everyone around here. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Osha. Some people around here call me the One Glowstone Guy because I'll buy anything for One Glowstone. Any item under the sun and moon. Just one. The way I see it, I already got just about everything I need in life. So, nothing's worth more than one glowstone to me. There's only one thing that's worth more than a glowstone to me. One special thing. And that thing is... Mountain Wart. I'll give you two for that. It's pretty. Adds a nice burst of color to my pile here. I mentioned some people call me One Glowstone Guy. Well, I've got two nicknames around here. The other thing people call me is 500 Glowstone Guy. I only ever have one item for sale at a time, and I only sell anything for one price. Guess how much? 500 Glowstones. Sealant. Would you like to buy some sealant? It'll be 500 glowstones. Hmm. There's only one thing I want that I can't seem to get. But I'm not sure you can help. I want to get into that fancy club, The Roots. They're such exclusive little buggers. I need the password to get in. 
No idea who to talk to about that. Get me that password, and I'll give you the sealant. Would you like to buy some sealant? It'll be 500 glowstones. You think? Would you like to buy some sealant? Hmm, there's only one I want. Get me. Hello there. Such a great day, isn't it? Ah, I just love days like this. Last night, I saw two shooting stars, and right then, I knew today was going to be a fine one. Ah, you're an artist? Oh, you must be very skilled. I can barely draw a straight line in the mud. <laughs> if you're feeling especially energetic, we could always use a hand in the fields. We've got a lot of work down on the pea terraces. It can be draining, but I like to read in my free time. A nice book of poetry always boosts my spirits. What? Are you serious? Okay, well, I bought some, but I definitely didn't eat them. I'd never make that kind of mistake. I, uh, I just don't have them anymore. Threw them away. <laughs> I, mm, I need to go now. Ah, the secretive underground tea drinking society. I've had a few cups of dream tea in my day, but... Things have changed since then. Now it's all locked doors and passwords. Tasted really good. Oh, great. Yeah, I bought one. Ate it already. Oh, how long is this gonna last? I'm gonna kill Cam. Oh, this is horrible. Your clothes are looking a little scrappy. Bet you're just about to freeze to death come nightfall. If you're ever looking to upgrade your attire, I'm sure I have just the thing. I've lived here all my life. It's rarely developed into quite a prosperous little boom town. There's a real energy here. 
I don't ever want to leave. I've been sewing professionally for 30 years, but only two years ago was I able to have a proper stand here in the market. Exciting times! I didn't try to buy any zucchinis. I grow my own at home. Poor Tam. He tries, but things just don't seem to work out for him. The Shez are the religious group that actually uses the teas out of respect for our goddess Tien. They have a temple on the Tifmor Bluffs. If you know anything about the Roots cult, you should tell them. A group of degenerates. They lay in pools of water, drinking hallucinogenic teas and raving about their otherworldly experiences. They'll try to trick you into believing it only alters your dreams, but don't believe them. Their goal is to consume all the tea that rightfully belongs to the goddess Tiem, and the authorities are utterly useless in the matter. If you want to support and aid the sanctity of the tea, you should seek out the Shez as soon as possible. Good day. One thing I can say about the folks here, they never ask for swords. Which pleases me greatly, because swords are just about the most boring things you could ask a blacksmith to make. The only thing more boring than making a sword is being dead. Which, coincidentally, is what swords are used for. Which is another reason why I'm glad folks around here don't ask me to make them. I'd rather make a kettle any day of the week. Just because I'm an owl folk doesn't mean I can't control myself around copious amounts of fresh fish. Okay, sometimes I eat some of the stock, but it's my shop after all. news here get your news here did you pick up a paper would you like to donate a glowstone to the shady and post so we can keep the paper free without ads and unmotivated by pop news and tabloid journalism thank you for your contribution Hi there. I mainly work in furniture, but by the looks of your pack, I doubt you're interested in buying a table or a chair. Not to worry, though. I've got just the thing. How would you like to buy a handcrafted wooden bike? Welcome to Yevany's Art Gallery and Supply. And before you ask, no, I'm not Yevany. And if you came to request a commission, unfortunately we can't help with that either. Yevany is totally backed up at the moment, but we do have painting supplies in stock. Yes, but we're full as I said. Normally folks just need to write down what they want and Yevany will paint it for them. The best painter in Nava that Yevany. She's been painting her whole life and doing commissions for at least 40 years. These days, she's spending more and more of her time on personal work. Good for her, I say. But still, we can't keep up with commissions like we used to, and demand is only growing. Oh, are you a painter? 
We've been looking for someone to help with the workload, but so far no one's been up to Yevany's standards. Do you have a portfolio I can look at? Wow, your work is so detailed. You should show this to Yevany. She lives in the common tower. That's the big round building in the middle. You might just be the painter we need. She'll absolutely want to see at least three paintings though. Anything I can help with? Need some supplies? Wow, your work at you might just chill out anything I can help with. Need some supplies? Have you given any thought to sharing your portfolio with us? Well, anything I can help with. Need some supply? Hello. Do you want to buy any spices? Like pepper or whatever this is? Oh yeah? She's pretty great, isn't she? We met at the bread stand where she works. I really like bread, so I'm over there a lot. Yeah? That's pretty cool, I guess. You like to travel? I have to travel to Lindo every week to get supplies. It's fine over there, but I wish I didn't have to go all the time. It's kind of like a creepy ghost town out there. Yeah, I mean, me and Evelina have been hanging out a lot. She's really great. Like the other day she made me a special loaf of bread in the shape of a flower. She's just so cool. Probably something with Evelina. Maybe go on a picnic? I haven't done that in a long time. There's this cool hot spring on the Salt Spring Coast. I used to go there when I was a kid. It's all the way at the end of the beach, and no one really knows about it. It's a perfect place for picnics. Yeah, maybe I'll take a trip out there soon. Well, I should probably get back to pretending to know about spices. Yeah, I bought one. I knew it was a toxic tuber. It was pretty obvious. I already used it in a ritual, so you can't buy it back. I think they're kind of like the Roots. They love dream teas too, but they believe only their gods should be able to drink them. They're a group of people who like drinking this special tea because it makes you have better dreams. They hang out in the cistern under the city, but sometimes they have meetings on the Salt Spring Coast Beach. My brother loves drinking the tea, but it's so boring. I mean, it just makes you dream. You're asleep the whole time. Interested in a book? Welcome, friend! Would you like a guaranteed long and healthy life? My elixir will fortify you with the strength and vigor. Imagine a longer life for you and your loved ones, sourced from hot springs around the island. This water is guaranteed to give you an extra 20 years, at least. Some of my longtime customers are practically living history books. They've been drinking the elixir for years, and not a day have they aged. 
of course. Just look at all these happy people. They love it and it works perfectly for them. Each of my customers is a testament to the strength of this powerful elixir. So, what do you say? The water is sourced from the life-giving springs of East Shade. to see a new face. Let me know if I can help you with anything. I love it here. There's really no part of town I'd be worried to let my two daughters play unsupervised. I moved here right out of college when my longtime resident aunt wrote to me about a job opening in the library. It was quite a great distance for me to move considering it was a bit of a paltry opening at the time. But 20 years later as head librarian, I can't say I have any regrets. Sorry, you can't go up there right now. We're doing some renovations. <sighs> Hard to say. Maybe in ten months, give or take? Could be longer if we hit any delays. Well, you need a pass. Any official from the university should be able to give you one. Have a good one. Trade here, trade there. So many folk are scurrying about. Oh, yes. The more bustle, the better. The sounds of a full market brings me back. Just take a look at all those shiny things coming in the markets. Sad day when my legs stopped working quite so well. Haven't made it down to the lower level in some time. Say, I heard from some other folks that you're one of the most helpful people in Eastshade. Do you have time to help an old woman? Excellent, excellent. 
you and I, young friend, I can tell we're going to make a fine pair. Been a long time since I had a partner of any sort. Oh, I feel ten years younger. I'm embarrassed to admit. I left a precious box up north, in the caverns. You know, the howling caverns on the Tiefmoor Bluffs? I must have left it there. It was years ago, mind you, that I left it behind. Longer, actually. I was still a young girl. Spent time playing all over East Shade. That box was one of my favorite possessions, passed down from my mother. It has some decoration, you know. Not too much. It's a rather simple wooden box, I think. It's been so long since I've seen it. I don't remember all the details, but there can't be many boxes in that cavern. Not to worry. I have confidence you'll find it, child. Away with you. to introduce myself. I'm Zara, assistant research scientist here at the university. Do you know of Melik? He's the merchant selling the so-called elixir of life down in the market. Did you now? Did you drink it? Could I buy that from you? I can offer double what you paid for it. I just need one. Wonderful. Now I can run some tests. Why don't you come back in about an hour, and I'll fill you in on my findings. They're a group that highly appreciates the consumption of dream teas. The teas are made with herbs that stimulate dreams. It's quite interesting how the chemicals work on the brain. They are safe in moderation, the largest risk being that when sleeping with dream teas, one gets very little rest, since the brain is actually more stimulated than during the day. The latest science actually considers it a form of exercise for your brain. I know it's a spectacular view. Beyond that, though, is there any reason specifically you need to be up there? I see. Well, I'll tell you what. Help me with discovering the truth about Melek's elixir, and I'll get you a pass.
To an outsider, this shady hillside might not seem like the best place to grow peas, but the farms of Novas East Side have been producing for hundreds of years. You see, East Shady and peas don't handle direct sunlight like the continental variety. Oh, look at me, talking your ear off about peas already. Say, if you're looking for things to see in this country, you should find your way out to the Teefmore Bluffs. There's some gorgeous farm country out there. When I was younger, I'd head out there all the time. But these days, I find myself a bit too busy with my peas. Navian demand is higher than ever you know. By the way, if you need a few extra glowstones in your travels, I could use an extra pair of hands shucking some peas for market. I won't lie to you though, it's tedious work, can really drain you. Well, I've never really given it much thought to be honest. It's just the place I've always lived. I suppose I'll take it for granted a bit. It's a dreamy place to live, isn't it? Fantastic! I'll show you what needs to be done. It's not too complicated. figure anything out? Oh god, did she tell you what she thinks of me? Really? <laughs> I'm dying. Tell me what she said. Where is her favorite place? Really? Wow. I'd heard about it, but I didn't think it was real. Sounds like the perfect magical place. Okay, I'm going to start making plans. Thank you so much. I'm so nervous. This is going to be amazing. Wish me luck. Okay. Did you get them back? Oh dear, I can't believe this. Oh, my days as a vendor are over. I just know it. Thank you for going out there. You can keep these tubers. Just don't eat them. day for science. Well, I've run some tests. Unfortunately, my findings are inconclusive. The solution seems to be mixed with so many things I can't get a clear reading of its composition. I've been thinking. Melek claims the life-giving ingredient in his potions is water from the local hot springs. I know it's a big ask, but I'm wondering if you're interested in collecting water samples from each of the five hot springs of Eastshade. Then we can really answer this question once and for all. No more tricks, no more overpriced traps. What do you say? Fantastic! Take these empty vials. The collection should be fairly straightforward. Finding the five hot springs will be the hard part. They're in all corners of the island, and some are rather tucked away.
Thank you.